Well, Out of Shadows is a documentary about um, a stunt guy that was in Hollywood, working in Hollywood, and you know became very a very big stunt person. You know, um, and a lot of movies in Hollywood. He's he's done. He's worked with the best of the best. All the way, you know, from Will Smith down to Tom Cruise to Brad Pitt, you know, all these guys. He's worked with all these guys. Um, so what happened with this uh, this guy is while working in the entertainment industry, working in Hollywood as a stunt coordinator, and he, he elevated up to, you know, being a... A stunt uh assistant stunt uh director, or you know, he he climbed up the food chain, you know what I'm saying? But he got to a point where he got hurt, and once he got hurt, you know, he came into contact while doing physical th- physical therapy with a a pelvic doctor, a pelvic floor. A pelvic floor um, therapist. Um, shout out to uh, absolutely you two three. Thanks for the donation. All right, choke no jokes to cash app. Um, so he's well, he's worked with all these people and everything. Right, so he gets hurt. He meets this. This therapist, who's a very spiritual person, I would say, this therapist tells him she feels like, um, you know, he got this this dark thing around him or whatever. She would like to pray for him. Now, this man says, "I never been into church. I didn't believe in God. You know what I'm saying? So if he didn't believe in God, he wasn't in church. It would explain why he went so far into Hollywood. You know what I'm saying?" Because not many of us that believe in Jesus Christ or, you know, a supreme being outside of Satan ain't going to get that high in ranking in the entertainment industry. If you didn't know that before, you know it now after watching this documentary. But I think most of y'all know that. Some of y'all are still ignorant and naive talking about, why it ain't just it ain't your uh, why? Why are you saying bu- Bubba Lip Sean got he where he at? Because he worships Satan. Why I can't? Because to be his talent. Why every time a nigga for, for a black person or or somebody in celebrity they get real big? Why they gotta worship the devil? Because if you don't, you're gonna hit a ceiling. You're gonna hit a ceiling. You're going to hit a ceiling. And for you to get past that ceiling, you're going to have to do some strange things, some change, okay? And worshiping uh, Satan, it would be one of them, okay? All right. Now, I told y'all a long time ago, I don't know how long ago it was, but if you follow me like that on a regular, you know what I'm saying? Some of the stuff that I say to you, you're going to be like, wow, Choke did say that. Or some of y'all already hit me and was like, yo, Choke, you was talking about this. This is why I sent you, told you you should watch Out of, out of Sound, right? Well, one thing I told y'all a while ago is when I was working at BET, when we did the, the Hurricane Katrina telethon, which was called SOS saving ourselves which i just seen um jesse collins jack and bet jack you know it's something that uh lee harris and i did way back lee harris he came on with the name but i helped him work on this and put this together it was called it was a hurricane katrina telethon that we did called saving ourselves shout out to stephen hill and penny mcdonald stephen hill is the one that approved it Devon, thanks for the um the donation. And you know, uh Penny McDonald was our superior 
uh, in the creative uh, service department. Well, she was the creative director at the time or whatever. Um, so I just seen recently BET just did a telethon for the coronavirus and they use the same name, SOS, Saving Ourselves. We did that in like 2005, was it 15 years later? Y'all couldn't be original and come up with something on your own. Y'all had to go back and dig on something that we did already. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? But we can't get a check cut from that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's how it is, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to Jesse Collins Entertainment, you know what I'm saying? That's the same entertainment company that stole, uh, I ain't gonna stay, they stole my idea because Stephen Hill did. I pitched the Rap City Awards to him. And he said, oh, Joe, we ain't doing no hip hop awards show. Then I leave BET the next year, they do the BET Hip Hop Awards, which goes on now, which I created. And don't get no credit and don't get no check for, but they took my joint. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, moving forward. Now, I told y'all about um, Tracy Shel Shelton. Good looking. Thanks for the um, cash app. Choke no jokes to cash app. Appreciate you, love. Um, when we did the uh, the Hurricane Katrina telethon, we had these packages. Packages. I know I told this story, but I got to tell it again because it sets up this whole documentary. Packages are like footage that's compiled into like two, three minute segments that if like Queen Latifah was one of the per people that did SOS saving ourselves telethon, like Queen Latifah goes, she'll speak and then she'll say, yo, y'all donate, you know, check out this clip of what's going on in New Orleans. Then boom, they cut to the package. The package is the footage of two, three minutes of what's going on in New Orleans. Where at the time is, we had the real raw deal, what was going on in New Orleans when the levees broke, people, dead bodies in the water, people on rules, you know, all the stories. And when we was putting these packages together, the day before it aired, I told y'all, some dudes came in the office. I swear to y'all, they, like, they look like the men in black. All black suits, black shades, and they came, they watched it, what we was getting ready to air. Penny McDonald called us in our office and said, y'all got to scrap everything. And I'm like, we done stay days in the office, ain't even go home, editing up these packages, working 24 hours around the clock to make sure that we bring the right news to our people and show them what's going on in New Orleans with these levees broke, breaking for the Hurricane Katrina telephone. We had to scrap all that, right? Which meant the men in black dudes that came to the office and told them they had to, they couldn't, we couldn't show that, showed me that media is controlled. We just can't go and like when I first got the BET, I was like, I'm gonna save my black people. I'm gonna empower my black people. I'm gonna educate my black people. When I got there, nigga, you ain't doing nothing but what we tell you you can do. You ain't bet you better not say nothing that we don't say you can't say. You can't let nobody say nothing that we say you can't say. It was all controlled. You know what I'm saying? So now I say that to say, if you watch the documentary, and I also told y'all before, yeah, how, look at when we watch the news, right? If you watch the channel two, wait, let me let me call them by they they uh station names, not by letters, because two in New York ain't C. I mean it's CBS, but it mean two in in. Georgia or California or Milwaukee might not be CBS. So I'm gonna call them by they 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 uh station name. Jamal, thanks for the um the cash. I appreciate you, bro. Um choke no jokes cash app. Um so 
How many of y'all noticed that when you're watching the news, if you're at home and you're watching CBS and um and you watching CBS and you you click in the uh, and you watching the news and let's say uh let's say they're talking about the virus, right? If you go click over to NBC at that same time. They're going to be talking about the virus. If you click over to ABC, it's going to be the same thing. They're going to be talking about the virus. All in the same first, let's say we turn on at 9 o'clock. From 9 to 9.10, I don't care if you go to ABC, CBS, NBC, UPN. Uh, well, UPN and, and, and um, WPIX, they come on at different times from CBS, ABC, and NBC. So let's just stick with them. But if you go with those three, you're going to see the same content during those times, right? When it comes to the weather, doesn't the weather come on at the same time on all these channels? Not for sale, good looking. You know what I'm saying? Does it, like uh, not for sale said, they all go to the commercial. At the same time, right? Take this watch off. I need to be looking at my Gucci. It ain't about that time. All right. Um, so you get certain news and you click ABC, NBC, NBC. Repetitive, same thing. New the weather, same time. Sports, same time. And then they might have that one little local section for the local news in each state or city. LaShawn, thanks for the donation. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Keita G ain't getting in here. Yeah, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I'm going to need a backup moderator. I'll add me if you want to be a backup moderator on YouTube. Um, so you go to, like I said, news weather sports and then they got the little local news oh a kitty got rescued in the tree in the county of so and so you know what i'm saying but for the most part it's all the same thing right now when you watch this documentary it's broken down to you that the uh that the government sends one press release is one company up here that controls everything down here from Walt Disney. All of them is connected to this one source, right? So when you watch this documentary, you see that. There is even a point where they put at least 25 to 50 news outlets on the same day, the same story at one time, right? It is the weirdest thing ever. All the news channels is saying the same exact thing at the same exact time. So what does that tell us? That this source here tells us, oh, well, if there's a, a, a vibe going on, y'all all is staying to the house. Y'all all will be scared. Y'all all to be, don't nobody move. And this, this information goes to all these sources that gets to all of us, which got us all in the house scared to death, right? But it all comes from one source, right? Now, if, if it comes from the GV Mint, right? And they telling us to be so scared and to be so terrified and to keep the social distancing, let me ask y'all, a real question right now. How many times? <laughs> I'm not going to say certain names. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want my thing to get zapped. So you got to be smart and catch on. For those who don't, if you don't say it, say, just put in the comments, what is Choke talking about? And somebody will type it in for you if you that slow. And I'm not trying to say everybody ain't sharp, but if you're not catching what I'm saying, just type it in and somebody will answer you because I got the smartest followers 
or support. I ain't gonna say followers. I got the smartest supporters. See, good looking. Um, <laughs> I got the the smartest supporters on all of the internet. I don't think there's nobody that got more people with third eyes than probably me, Black Dot, and a few others. You know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot my other little man too. The um. Um, what's his name? King Pharaoh or whatever, whatever his name, Pharaoh dude. You know, that'd be real animated. Like, you know, you gotta have a third out of follow what, what we're saying. So what I'm saying to this now, we got all this and they all came to us and they tell us, you know, X X amount of people is dying a day. Uh uh, if you don't stay six feet from these people, you're gonna catch it. This, that, and the other, right. We getting that all that from the G Vermin, right? If you don't know who the G Vermin is, type it in, somebody will tell you. Barry, good looking. Thanks for the cash app. I appreciate you. Right? So if the G Vermin is telling us it's all true, how many press conferences have we seen from Agent Orange? The dude that says, you're fired. You know what I'm talking about? All right. How many press conference we seen from him the doctor standing here other politicians and other people in, in congress standing by him right now remember they all being questioned by the associate press the media everything who don't live in the white house right have y'all ever seen since this whole outbreak, has Agent Orange or anybody on the stage with him or anybody asked the questions have on a mask? Y'all know who Agent Orange is, right? You're fired. Remember that show? You know. The one that um Om Omarosa was on, yeah. Have you seen anybody up there for since this been going on with a mask on? The media outlet, the media, the people asking the questions. A doctor standing right there. There's no social distancing going on amongst them, right? What the hell are we all wearing masks for if they not wearing masks? They not scared? Is it me? How many times have you seen anybody up there since they've been telling us all this stuff not for sale, good looking? Why haven't one person, we don't seen up at least 10 to 20 press releases since this thing started. You mean to tell me none of them ain't got no mask and they all got families? And y'all let all these press people come into the, to the, to the house? I'm going to call it the black house just in case they try to zap me. Y'all letting them come into the black house. And nobody got on masks and gloves? But we supposed to have masks and gloves and wash our hands all day. Okay. Let that marinate for a second. Now, do that make sense to anybody? Or either, maybe that, or they, they've been uh, vaccinated and they not worried. Well, I just don't understand how they telling us all this. But nobody 
every time we watch a press conference that involves this, nobody got on the mask and gloves. But I'm going to move on. We are being programmed to believe whatever we want to believe or they want us to believe. This is why oh, when you look at that documentary, it shows you that one source is giving the information. What if this source is, a, is just the, the source that is put there to control us to make us live in fear. And then they dish out all this information that goes down to all these different outlets that got us all in the house, right? What if it's all BS? We don't know. It could be true, right? But we know that one thing for sure, that no media outlet can report anything that they feel like. They all get a press release and they all report the same news. Facts. But with stuff like this platform where we could talk and we not control, once we say certain things, if you follow me, and you follow, you watch my YouTube, y'all see when I get deep on certain things, my page shut down or the video stops. And you could go back and try to start it again and it gets cut. You know what I'm saying? You telling me YouTube got all this money on this big platform and they got a faulty platform where they videos crash? They didn't figure out the hiccups before they launched this thing? Or is it just my videos? Hmm. Now, another thing they touched on in this thing Real life, good looking. Thank you. Um, the other thing they talked about in this this is documentary was the MKO. The the the, the, the master culture ultra master K ultra. Is the other thing they talked about. Now, a lot of y'all thought that was fake. They broke that down. And if you still think it's fake, after seeing what you've seen, it's nothing that, it's nothing that none of us could tell you. How many of y'all seen um videos of, of the... uh? The queen of the hive. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The queen of the hive. Y'all ever seen that video of her sitting at the game? Like, while her husband's sitting there watching the game, looking at the scoreboard, everything, and she just zoinked, just out of it, like, Y'all ever seen that? All y'all got to do is uh, Google her and Google uh, Master Ultra and you'll see it. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, look up Sasha Fierce. Uh, Sasha Fierce. 
evil looks or transforms, things like that. You'll see it. Right? Do you after watching that and seeing how they show where it came from, what who it was designed by, uh, how they destroyed the files so people couldn't know that it was real. All that is broken down in this. But some of y'all still think it's a joke and say that some of these celebrities get to where they are based off pure talent. Okay. And why do y'all think this, this, this is my, my biggest thing. People be like, yo, why, why every time I successful, y'all say they got to be worshiping Satan? How many times y'all heard that? How, how many times y'all heard that? How I'm saying, all right, let me ask y'all a question. How many of y'all know who, who this Marina woman is? A known satanist, right? She doesn't hide it. This is the same woman that takes, she is the one that do cannibalism at rituals. Like, ugh. That, that part of the documentary really disgusted me. Kimmy, y'all, good luck. Thanks for the donation. Now, this is a known satanist, right? Niggas jump on me all the time about Bubba Lip Sean. Oh, you just hate, you just hate on Bubba Lip Sean. You just hate on Bubba Lip Sean. He don't worship the devil. You just mad because he's successful. Okay. How many of y'all saw when that white man put his arm around Bubba Lip Sean at the NBA game? And then nigga was like, don't touch me. Get off of me. How many of y'all seen that? Y'all seen that, right? You wouldn't let a man put his arm around you, a fan, just to take a picture. But you go head to head, nose to nose, with a known Satanist, Satanist, in your Picasso video? Now, how many of y'all seen the Picasso video? Y'all think he didn't know who she was when she he did that? Y'all don't think he knew who she was when he did that? Now, that same woman, Marina, is mad at him because she did that video for a favor and he stiffed her. If you look it up, you'll see... She has a problem with him right now. That is one person I wouldn't cross for nothing. The lady paints with blood and sperm. The Ruby, thanks for the uh, donation. The Ruby, or whatever. Well, I didn't catch it. Sorry. But um, choke no jokes to cash out. Like, who is stiffing? Somebody that paints with pregnant woman's blood and sperm. Who is stiffing a woman that has parties with bodies and coffins on the table and they eating out of it with blood and stuff? You seen Beyonce standing right there with her? You seen Naomi Campbell standing right there with her? And Bubba Lip Sean stiffed her? She didn't know who she was talking, she was dealing with. 
she might have hit up Jazz O and, and Sauce Money and D Haven and Dame Dash to find out who she was dealing with. Because, baby girl, I don't care how evil you are, that nigga will cross anybody. Now, same thing. Lady Gaga. If you watch the documentary, you've seen it. Lady Gaga came into the industry, found out about this lady, called her up. Right? Federico, good looking. Right? Called her up and said, I want you to teach me Satanism. She says it. The lady herself says it. Lady Gaga came to me. Came to my home and told me she wanted to learn Satanism. She taught Lady Gaga. Said she took her in the woods, stripped her naked as a ritual, and had, she had to find her way back to her home. Now, y'all telling me, y'all didn't see Lady Gaga go from one extreme to the next and then have super success? But a lot of y'all still think it's based off of talent. And then this lady says, oh, since Lady Gaga introduced me to the world, I've been having girls as young as 14 years old come to me now. So you see the power of influence? Your favorite celebrity can influence the youth to go and deal with somebody that deals with straight evil. You know how many of these dudes, if Jay-Z told them, yo, go see Marina, she'll make you a star. You're going to have to sell your soul, but she'll make you a star. Out of 10 people, as starving as these dudes are for fame, well, you can look at the Rock Nation brunch and tell how many people would do it. I ain't even got to hypothetically speak. All you got to do is look at the Rock Nation brunch. And you'll know all those that want to be up under this nigga like that is definitely down for it. Because they got to know. So when you go back and you watch that Picasso video and you see your man step on that stage and that lady step on that stage together and they put their heads and nose together, them niggas ain't dancing. When have you ever seen Bubba Lip Sean put his head to another woman's head and nose in a video ever? Not even a video. I don't even think I ever seen this nigga kiss a girl in a video. But you get up with a known, a well-renowned known satanist. You put her in your video. Everybody know who she is, and you want her energy. Putting your your head on her head, her nose. You wanted her energy. But these stupid niggas out here say, he ain't down no Illuminati. He ain't no satanic worshiper. You just jealous. You's a hater. Okay. I'll be that. I'll be that. I tell you one thing, I won't be stupid like the rest of y'all niggas. That's why dudes hate me, because y'all all programmed 
and I'm not. I got my own mind. I ain't never trying to convince nobody to think the way I think. I just show you, I just lay it on the table. You make your own decision. But if you haven't seen out of the shadows yet, then you stay in the dark. You stay in the dark. Because there ain't nothing in that documentary that is false. But like they say in, the, in, the, uh, in that documentary, they put films and shows out there that desensitize us. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that movie Zoolander is all about the the, uh, the Master K Ultra. You know what I'm saying? But we look at it as a comedy. It's funny to us. Oh, that nigga been still and stupid. <laughs> But art imitates life. That movie is showing you exactly like the man, was it man carrying, man, man, was it man carrying candidate, man carrying, whatever it is, y'all know what I'm talking about. Same thing. To desensitize us, because when you hear it in real life, you're like, eh, I seen that in the movie. That's just a movie. Okay. And my thing is, for those who say, "Oh, why they, why they gotta, uh, why niggas gotta uh, worship Satan to make it?" Y'all think everybody worship God, Chris, Jesus Christ? Y'all think everybody's for the love of good? So it ain't no evil people. Nobody out here is on the side of evil. Y'all think that all these, these church people, uh, T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, uh, y'all think every last one of them worship God? You don't think none of them worship Satan? With all their success, just because they got they in the church and they preaching in the church, you don't think you can be manipulated by those people? Now, the thing that to me was most interesting in the documentary. Byron, good looking. Thanks for the cash app. Um, was the whole now? How do I say this one without them zapping my uh? Y'all know Domino's, right? And the in the other place, the hut where you get a slice from. Okay, somebody got it. Y'all got it. All right. The place where you call Domino's for them to deliver that thing to you, that type of food, well, we all know about the Domino's gate, right? That's what I'm going to call it, Domino's gate. Yes, all right. Thank you. Uh, Who is that? I ain't catch the name. Yeah, but y'all got it. I see. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look in the comments. Somebody, they got it in there. We're going to call it Domino's gate so my page don't get zapped. All right? Now, the whole Domino's gate thing, the word Domino's, but the real word for it, a slice, y'all know? That word that begins with a P is a cold word for pedophile. That's what that whole P gate thing was about. So, how many of y'all would ever believe that all these celebrities 
was into the whole Domino's Gate thing. As disgusting as it is to even think that these grown people be wanting to be involved with kids. As sick as it sounds, why was all of them going to Epstein Island if that's what he was known for? Your man Bill, that is, that's married to the chick that was running for uh, office last election. He was on the call log 20, I mean the flight log 25 times. 25 times he went to this man island on his jet. I, who is that? Let me say something. Hey, Kimmy R, I don't care who's disrespecting me in the chat. They can say whatever they want in the chat. I don't look at that. You know what I'm saying? I look when I see a donation to give y'all a shout out. But when people is in here talking mess, I don't look at that. Even when Keita G's in there, I still don't look at it. So they can type whatever they want in there. I don't look at it. And if I show y'all on Instagram, uh, I don't even have the comments on. So don't worry about it. Y'all entertain each other in the comments. I don't I don't read them. So a nigga can say, F my mother in the comments. I don't care. I don't read the comments when I'm on live because it, it's just a distraction. If I get a, 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 a cash app or a donation, I'll take it and, and look because that is it looks different. And I'm going to give you a shout out. But whoever, all those in the comments that's talking trash, don't worry about them. Just focus on the intelligent people. The assholes, let them be assholes. That's why them niggas is where they at. This is why they ain't got no knowledge of self. You know what I'm saying? Because they D heads. Little penis heads. Let them be little penis heads. And stay on my planets. Remember, they came here to join us to talk trash in the comments for attention, which they will never get from me. So don't worry about it, baby girl. It's cool. Antoine King, good looking. Thanks for the donation. See how that works? Shout out to my man Antoine. He like, Cho, keep going. These niggas is dumb. Don't worry about them. We here to be educated. We here to build with you, brother. These other niggas is in here in the, in the comments to entertain, to get be entertained by the people in the comments. I don't pay them no mind. Moving forward. So, with your man Bill, Hill, and all the other celebrities that have been going to this man's island, as you see in the documentary, he had cameras and was taking video and pictures of everybody that came on the island. This is why this man is... um. Uh, Leslie, good looking. Thanks for the uh, donation. Kev, if you want to go see, watch the documentary, go watch it. Then you you can see what you can see for yourself. Don't ask me no questions when I'm telling you to watch the documentary. You know what I'm saying? Um, so with Epstein getting locked up, right? Think about all the celebrities that been on his island that's on video. So if he was going to jail for being a pedophile, you mean you y'all don't think that everybody that was going over on his island knew what he was doing, knew what he was? No, it was a bunch of little girls over there. They had a bunch of kids over there. For all their entertainment. This is why you are seeing these Post of Ellen, Oprah, all these, all of them got ankle bracelets on. Y'all don't see it? Because they all probably got part of that indictment. 
Why do Oprah got on the ankle bracelet? Why do Ellen got on the ankle bracelet? Why? Y'all didn't y'all haven't seen this? Hold on. Instagram, hold on a second. Let me show y'all my YouTube family. Remember Oprah was in the kitchen the other day cooking? Look at Ellen. Y'all see it? There go Oprah. Y'all see it? What do they wear ankle monitors, ankle bracelets for? Because that indictment went out. Y'all didn't see that? Oh, I think y'all need to go and research that. Is that why we all in the house right now? Oh, go look at Tom Hanks' uh, Instagram. He got on the ankle bracelet too. Y'all got to go and look up. Jo Joseph, good, good looking. Thanks for the donation via Cash App. Choke no jokes to Cash App. Y'all didn't see that? Go look on Tom Hanks' uh, Instagram. He's out of the country. He won't come back. There's an indictment out there where all these celebrities that's on there for being on Epstein Island. Could that be possible? The reason with all these indictments, why we all got to be in the house right now? Because if we all wasn't in the house right now, how would it, Oprah explain her being on, in the house arrest? How would Ellen explain her being on house arrest? How would Tom Hanks explain them being on house arrest? Why do y'all got on ankle bracelets? Why would Oprah have on an ankle bracelet? We hey, we don't even know. We haven't seen Homeboy. We haven't seen Homeboy and his wife. There's a lot of celebrities that we haven't seen. They keep throwing Naomi Campbell name all around that, that that documentary, and they all in pictures, even Beyonce with the Marina chick. We don't seen uh, Bubba Lip Sean hugged up and loved up on Harvey Weinstein, right? Then Harvey, ain't Harvey Weinstein in jail? Didn't Epstein go to jail? He's supposed to be dead, allegedly, right? But as big as Epstein was, with all these big major celebrities that was connected to him, this dude ain't have a funeral yet. All of Hollywood would have been at his funeral and, 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 and uh, Congress and Senate. He was connected to all of them. Young Al, good looking. Thanks for the cash app. They ain't show his body being rolled out to jail. He still hasn't had a funeral yet. This nigga been dead like three months. They haven't had a funeral yet. Where's his body? Where's his, where's his tombstone? Where is he buried at? He might pop up on their asses in court and testify against all of them. But when it comes to that Domino's Gate, go look at the documentary. Out of the shadows, if you didn't see it. Look at the emails. They using the word pizza in there. Like, yo, I want I want to get a pizza for half an hour. Who wants to rent or get a pizza for half an hour? These niggas is using cold words like drug dealers. Like, yo, dogs, I need two chickens. I need two chickens. A word, you need two birds. Well, a bird is a key. We know that in the streets.
but you need a pizza for 30 minutes. Or, or every time they're using the word pizza in them emails, it ain't it, it never makes sense. Just like a drug dealer texting the nigga and being like, yo, I need two birds. Two birds of what? Well, like you going to you need two. You want me to go to the uh poultry spot? John McDonald, good looking. Thanks for the cash app. You need me to go. What do you mean you need two birds? So if the, the uh alphabet boys is looking at your emails like they went through uh Hills joints and they seeing all this, they know what you're talking about because it's all in code. Uh, Instagram, y'all dead. Y'all got to come to YouTube. <coughs> so, Travis, good looking. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to look at this documentary, y'all. Once again, it's called Out of Shadows. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you what it, what it looked like when you're searching it. When it, when it started off, it started off looking like that. That's all you need to know. When you see that, that's it. All right? But that's, that's the name of it right there. Right? Now, check it. Another thing, like I told y'all, like what happened with me with BT, we couldn't, we couldn't uh we couldn't say what we want. And I learned that with this uh this news anchor for ABC named um Amy Roback. Now, somebody brought her the whole Epstein story three years ago before it came out. She tried to tell the story, they shut her down. Right, <clears throat> I guess when they wanted to take Epstein down, they let somebody put the story out. This woman is so pissed off that she had the story first. She had pictures of Bill and all of them all over at the island with the kids and everything, and they wouldn't let her break the story. Watch the documentary. She's pissed that she had the story first and they wouldn't let her tell it. That's just how it works. When they ready to take you down, they'll take you down. But they're never going to let anybody else take you down if they're not ready for you to be taken down. Now, many of y'all, poor house, good looking. Thanks for the donation, all right? Um, choke no jokes to cash yet. Now, oh, Katy Perry is another one. Katy Perry, who was a gospel singer, went, wasn't being successful at it, went to Hollywood. They propositioned her with, you know, joining the club. And bam, you seen her go from innocent little gospel girl to a straight up satanic worshiper. If you look at, if you know Katy Perry, you already know. She she don't, she don't even, I don't even think she hide it too much. Now, they called this girl or this woman, Liz Crocker, crazy 
for telling all this stuff. Ghost Cam, good looking. You know what I'm saying? They 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 call her crazy. People call me crazy. Oh, Joe, you just a hater. You just a hater. Why nobody can just make it all based off success off there alone? Okay. How many rappers you know since the beginning of hip hop? That chill with Warren Buffett. How many? A lot of us came from the projects. A lot of us came from the gutter. You tell me none of us could get to where this dude got? Bubba Lip Sean? None of us? What's so special about him? What's so special about Will Smith that nobody else from Philly could do what he did? What's so special about B that Latoya Luckett or Farrah Franklin or Kelly Rowland couldn't achieve? So special about her. Why Shanti couldn't be Beyonce? What's so special about her? Did y'all hear that? Before I let go. Before I let go. Beehive, relax. Y'all telling me B killed that song? Or did she butcher that song? Now, if you grew up in the 80s, early 90s, and you rocked to that Before I Let Go with Kid Capri, Brucey e. B, or any of those DJs playing that song, and you heard that version of it, you telling me she didn't butcher that song and get a pass? Y'all telling me she sound good singing that song? What's so special? We believe anything that is on TV. That's what we learned about this documentary. They could tell us anything on TV and we believe it. We are controlled by the TV. We are controlled by media. And now it's social media. If they tell us it and we see it on TV, we believe it. I got people telling me right now, yo, yo, Meek and Jay gave a hundred thousand mask out. Where? Show me where. What jail? Where did they sit? What jail got him? Because I got a brother on Rikers Island. That's a CEO. He tell me them niggas is working three shifts with the same mask. That they're supposed to change every eight hours. And they are the correction officers. He told me, yo, they lying. They ain't give up no 100,000 masks. Not here they didn't. Because all the inmates ain't got masks like that. They sharing masks. So if the police don't have masks, 
You telling me a hundred thousand masks been given to the jail system and the police don't got them? The correction officers don't got them? I'll call my peoples on the phone right now. They'll tell y'all they sharing the same mask. They wearing the same mask for triple shifts. But y'all niggas see it on the internet and on the news or whatever. These niggas could have anybody type up a, a thing and say they did anything and they post it and this nigga going to share it and this nigga going to share it and this nigga going to share it and y'all going to say, Jay-Z and Meek Mills gave out 100,000 masks. Prove it. Tell me where they got the masks from, what company they ordered it from, where did they got delivered it, and who did distribute it. Y'all niggas believe any thing the media tells y'all just show me where they went because jay-z's from new york even though he's hiding in california did they the mask go to a california jail or did the mask go to a philly jail for meek peoples because they damn sure ain't go to new york jail i know that for a fact Prove it. Prove it. Show us where the masks went. Because it's dudes on Rikers Island right now fighting and all types of things. I can't, I can't even give it up the way I want to give it up because I don't want to get my peoples in no trouble. Who's that? Wait, wait, real quick. Let me give a shout out to my man, Seven Black Sun. Thanks for the donation. Choke no jokes to cash out. I don't want to get my peoples in trouble, but on Rikers Island right now, they got those that's quarantined in the dorms. They got those that think they got it in some somewhere else, and then they got the people that don't got it. But they all is in the joint together, and the CEOs don't even have the right Proper equipment. So you telling me that these niggas gave masks to some jails and the police don't even got none? <laughs> but the inmates got masks, right? They they gave out 100,000 masks to the jails, but the police don't even got none, right? Police is wearing masks for eight times three is 24 hours. The same ass, working three shifts. Okay, y'all niggas believe anything. And that's what I'm learning. And that's another thing you learn from this documentary. Whatever they say on the news, people automatically believe. Because it's on TV. So you believe it. How do you doubt it? Because they said it on TV. People argue with me when I say, oh, this nigga ain't no billionaire. No, oh, he's a billionaire. Oh, then. When did he ever take you to the bank with him and swipe his card and show you his bank account and show you his balance? I don't know for a fact that he's a billionaire, but I doubt it. I know that that dude went on the breakfast club and it was a, he said it was a projection because of all the companies and the assets, whatever. But y'all niggas talking about, oh, he a billionaire. Like, you went to the bank with this nigga. He said, swipe. Boop, 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 boop. Balance. Look, nigga. You see all them O's? I'm a billionaire. A nigga will argue you to death. Argue you to death. Choke, you a hater. You a hater. Like, they hang with this nigga. Like they is accounting. But if the media say it, it's golden. A nigga go right up on the breakfast club and like, 
Why do y'all listen to them niggas? Don't y'all see this nigga with a Rock Nation hat on all week, every week? Why would you listen to that? You already know his favoritism there. And now while I'm on the topic of the Breakfast Club, I want to say something to y'all. Don't y'all idiots at the Breakfast Club know that kids watch y'all show? Envy. Don't you know your kids watch you on the radio? Why would y'all interview Little Boosie and ask him all those sexual questions knowing kids watch that show? Angela Yee, what you thought you was on lip service? Y'all talking to this nigga about threesomes and all kind of off the wall. Yo, do he switch the condom when he have threesomes? Like, y'all was trying to get this nigga to incriminate himself about beating his kids. Yo, Boosie, you got to be careful with them niggas, yo. They was really trying to jam you up, my nigga. They asking you about beating your kids. They trying to have child services at your crib. They asking you about drugs and stuff and your kid walking around in the background. And all this sec, did y'all air that radio? Did y'all air that episode on the radio? I swear to God that shit sounded like an episode of lip service. Like Angelique chiming in like a bird, and I like her. But y'all, yo, what, you, what was y'all thinking about asking Boosie all these sexual questions on the show knowing that these kids is watching? J Mac, thanks for the cash, yeah. Like, yo, I don't know if y'all, if y'all, I, I, I'm not promoting them. I don't care if they don't get an extra view or not. But if you ain't watched that Boosie interview, look at the, the line of questioning that they asking them and then think, this is supposed to be a family show. Supposed, this is a show for the radio. How they asking this nigga all these sexual questions like that? They was, yo, they was way out of line, yo. They was way out of line, yo. If, if a person was sitting there watching that with their kids, they definitely had to cut it off or send them out the room. Y'all ain't no late night TV, TV show. That wasn't lip service. That was the breakfast club. Disrespectful ass niggas. So about eating ass and all this stuff. What? I'm going to say this. When you look at the documentary, all you got to do is look at the facts. Look at the facts and use critical thinking. You could be a hater. Key to G, good looking. Um, welcome to the building. Just look at, just look at the facts and use critical thinking. Stick. Don't idolize nobody. Don't idolize nobody. Look at everybody as regular. And just look in at the facts of this thing when you watch this documentary. And then think. They told us to sit in the house for days, for weeks, for months. Possibly going to be for maybe about six months to a year. 
this thing ain't over. We're going to be in this house for a minute. But they tell us to wear glass, uh, gloves, stuff to cover our eyes, masks to cover our, mo our mouth. But every time we watch in the news and we watch in the White House press conference, nobody got on a mask. Nobody got on no gloves. What do the news people know that we don't know that they are still sitting up there having their normal news day, ain't even six feet apart from each other. Two anchor people sitting right here next to each other and they don't got on masks and gloves? Are y'all paying attention yet? We watch the news every day. Why aren't none of the news people wearing masks and gloves in shades or eye protection? I don't, why? Nobody, nobody. And we all running around here living in fear. And let's say if what they saying about Epstein was true, right? And he got locked up. If what they're saying about him is true, and all those celebrities and politicians was going to his island, yeah, I don't think none of them, not at least one of them, would be a pedophile too. Not maybe one of them. You know what they say, right? Birds of a feather flock together. Now, if I was running around here hanging out with a known pedophile or I had a, a video with a known satanist, would y'all call me a pedophile? Or would y'all say I worship the devil because I, I had a satanist in my video? Yes, you would. But it, when it comes to your favorite celebrities, chokes a hater. But you know what I just realized? They call people like me haters. Because we spit the truth. I wasn't a hater before I started talking about this dude. That I know that. I've never been called a hater until I started been, and started on this whole truth be told thing. Niggas never said I was a hater. But now I'm a hater. Y'all going to wake up. Y'all gonna wake up. The documentary is called Out of Shadows or Out of the Shadows. I suggest y'all open your minds up. And if you're a fan of any of the people I said, don't even waste your time watching it because you're gonna say they lying. They haters. Don't even waste your time. But if you won that likes to be enlightened and you don't follow the Pied Piper into the ditch, I recommend you watch this. I watched it three times in less than six hours because it was that intriguing to me. 
because it connected so many dots for me, especially that one that tells me that I know, and I said to y'all, y'all know I said it before I seen this, that all our information comes from one source and is distributed down to all the other sources. Everything, for the most part, is coming from one source and distributed through a whole bunch of different companies. You want to see some real ill? Terrell, good luck here. Thanks for the cash app. I appreciate you, bro. This here is something that I'm getting ready to get into. I don't know if y'all going to be able to see this, but this here breaks down how all everything is all under one umbrella. Once I do the science on this, I can't even get it. There you go. The Great Awakening. Once I get through all this, y'all gonna see too in uh in the documentary. There's another diagram like this that breaks it down from, you know, Walt Disney down to CNN, CSNBC. It shows you how they all connected to each other, and then how all the media outlets are connected from the White House to all the press is all connected. Like, so they could tell us tomorrow something. And it'll go to all the main outlets, and then we're 